Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys 20 iPhone tips and tricks that I believe every iPhone user must know and use on their device in 2024. These are most of them of course pretty useful and you will probably use a lot of them on daily basis and will improve the way you use your iPhone on daily basis. Now we're starting things off with iMessage. So whenever you get a voice message on iMessage, you will have here, of course, a play button where you can play and pause that message. But if it's too long, you can change the speed in which that message plays. So if I just force touch here, it will just show me the menu. But if I do it on the play button, then it will show me here options to actually play from 1x up to 2x. So you can choose the speed at which you want to play your audio message. On messages you will also get a menu right here where you can quickly access some things that you might need to want to send on a message. Maybe like a sticker, your photos, music or maybe even your location. But did you know that you can actually customize this, you tap on more, you will see here everything else that you have, you can even drag these so if you want to drag any one of these you can do that directly from here and you can just rearrange them of course and then you will be able to also do that with the items that you actually have here you can remove any of them and then you will also be able to add from here to the main menu so on the main menu we'll have a bunch of stuff here but if you see something here that you know you won't be using too much you want to remove it then you can place it under more and if you see something here that you know you will be using a lot more you can just move it from here to the main page now here's something pretty cool if you're on your lock screen and you're customizing one of your wallpapers let's say you have a different wallpaper on the lock screen a different one on the home screen if you want to switch and have the same wallpapers the same on the home screen as the one on your lock screen there's a very easy way to do that so if i have this wallpaper i want to have this one make them the same on both home and lock screen i don't need to go here and try to find that wallpaper all I have to do is just tap on pair right here and we're good to go. Now what's really cool is that you can also customize your home wallpaper the same way you customize your lock screen wallpaper. So you tap right here and then what you need to do is tap on this wallpaper here. So tap back again on home, you tap twice and then you will get the same styles here that you get on your lock screen the same will be right here on the home screen as well if you have two sims on your iphone you will have of course a primary line and a secondary line they will be named by default but what you can do here is that you can actually change those names and customize them so you go to your seller plan label right here and you will have like business seller data personal primary secondary travel and all that but you will also have here the ability to add a custom label where you can just type anything you want now when talking about seller data when you're using two sim cards on your iphone you can enable something called seller data switching so you go to your seller seller data and then you will have the seller data switching option right here which will basically change the data that you're using from one number to another depending of course on the coverage and the availability so basically when you have better coverage on one line it will move to that will use data from that line and then the other one once it has better coverage now right here under seller you will also have a list of all the apps and how much data they have used now if you have an apple watch what you will be able to do is scroll here and depending of course how much you have used on your apple watch it might be somewhere up there or here and then you will find the apple watch app so apps only on watch you go right there and this will allow you to basically see the apps that you have on your apple watch and of course whether they are able to use your seller data or not and if you don't want them to do that you can actually turn them off from here now we're moving to the home screen and we have some pretty cool shortcuts that i'm sure most of you guys have forgotten about and actually never use them on your devices so here's one for the app store if you want to redeem a code on the app store you know it's pretty hard to find that button on the app store what you can do 3d touch on the icon right here tap on redeem and just like that you can redeem any code on the app store moving on to the weather app of course we all have the list of different cities on the weather app but you don't need to actually open the weather app go to your list and find the city that you want you just 3d touch on the weather app you will have the cities there you just tap on each city that you want to open 
The same goes for the Photos app. You can quickly go to your favorite photos. 3D Touch there, they will have your favorites or you can view your most recent photo. You can do that quickly directly from the home screen. Again, the 3D Touch menu, a hidden feat and basically a forgotten feature of iOS, which in a lot of cases is very useful and makes things actually much, much quicker. Now for the Notes app, you need to open the Notes app, create a new note and then tap the scan button in order to scan a document. But the easy way to do that, 3D Touch there, there you have the button, you can quickly scan a document directly from there. You will even be able to do that directly from the control center. If you have the notes here, all you have to do is just tap there, scan a document directly from the control center. And then the music app. Whenever you want to just play your most recent song, you can just 3D touch here, play most recent, and there you go, it will start playing your most recent song as easy as that. Moving on to the control center, we're talking about different focus modes right here. So whenever I'm recording a video, usually my videos will take me maybe 20 to 30 minutes to record based on how long the video is and what I'm talking about. But a lot of times I will turn on the recording focus that I have created for when I'm recording a video. And a lot of times I'm done recording, but I forget to actually remove that turn off the focus mode which in this case turns off all the notifications for me now one thing you can do tap right there and then you will have all your focus modes right here and you can see mine will turn off in one hour so you don't need to actually turn it on and then remember to turn it off you can just tap right there on the three dots and you will be able to actually turn on a focus mode for just one hour now here's something pretty cool. Whenever you're turning up or down the volume of your device, you will be able to actually drag your finger just like this on the slider and this allows you to quickly turn up the volume all the way up or all the way down. You don't have to press and hold here or just quickly tap on the buttons. You can do that simply by dragging your finger over the vol volume slider as easy as this. And whenever you're trying to quickly move on the emoji keyboard, you don't have to do this. You can just drag your finger across all the like different tabs that we have here for different categories of emojis. You just drag like this and you can quickly go from one category to another. Here's something I suggest every iPhone user must do. Head on to the settings, go under App Store, and then here we'll have in-app ratings and reviews. What I suggest you do here is turn this setting off. Now, what this does, it basically install apps, they will show in-app ratings and reviews, asking you to rate the app and review them. You don't want to have those pop-ups interrupting you with your apps, so turn them off from here. Now, here's a really cool feature of iOS that I've noticed a lot of iOS users actually don't know. So, if I'm here on the photo library, I'm on an album, I want to go to the top of this album, just tap right there on the status bar and it automatically goes there as easy as that so it's pretty easy and on the photos app it actually goes down as well so if i just go all the way up i can tap now the album icon right there and it goes all the way back down now tapping these tabs that you see here on the on the bar right on the bottom of the apps on a lot of apps works pretty well so if i go right here on an app on the app store and I'm, a, I'm browsing something here. What I can do if I want to go back, I can just tap right there and it takes me right back to that tab. So if I'm on the apps tab right here, I go here somewhere. I don't need to go back and back and back to go back to the beginning. I just tap there and I'm good to go. Maybe a forgotten feature of iOS settings app, but it's pretty useful. It works on other apps as well, but I think it's more useful on the settings app because you have a lot of sub menus. So if I go somewhere here on the section on the settings app, I don't have to tap back here a lot of times. Tap and hold right there. It will show you the menu with all like the different sections that you have gone through here. Let me just do that once more. So here we have in this case, app store settings. If I want to go to the main page, tap right there, it takes me right back to the settings. And last but not least, whenever you're typing something here on your keyboard, you can see that, of course, when starting to type something, the first letter will be on uppercase. But if you want to type something and you all want everything to be on the uppercase, you don't need to turn the shift button here every time you want to do that. You double tap there and it locks on the uppercase. Now you can just type as easy as that.
So that is it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to smash the like button. And of course, subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you on the next one.